It was very entertaining. No, 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 I like his upbeat attitude. And I like the messages that he keeps trying to reinforce. You know, the things that were possible. We need to impart to our young people. It was fantastic. Exceptional. Very talented people. Broad range of entertainment and spirit filled. I, I love the uh, Caribbean and the stilts. I just love that act. But every, everybody was awesome, though. Everybody was awesome. I love Universal Soul Circus. I love, we come every year and it's just so enjoyable. It gets better and better. I tell you, it's just awesome. I thought it was fabulous. It was fabulous and it had a lot of good points and messages out there to various people and entertaining. Oh, I had a wonderful time. Green was great. I like the uh, drum Oh, the music, um, the, the positive message to young people, the talent, it was so much. Um, it was just wonderful. <laughs> we loved it. <laughs> yes, we loved it. We had a great time. I enjoyed the elephant. Oh, I had a wonderful time. Was, no, 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 um, no, was great. Actually, this is my first time here. But what I really enjoyed is I enjoyed the whole the ringmaster especially. And I like the whole inspirational message that the circus brings to us as a people. I want to show you that God is everywhere, and our family's important, and just keep God first and everything will be okay. When I say Big Top, you say circus. Big Top. Big Top. Big Top. Hi, I'm Stephanie Phelps, and we're here on the back lot of the Universe Soul Circus, the only African-American circus in the world. And we are going to bring you up close and personal interviews with the stars of the show, Casual Cal and his sidekick Zeke. Here y'all go, working for the government. Uh -oh. Trying to spy on the circus folks, I understand. <laughs> what is hey, that? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Mister, come, come, come. What you need, my friend? Three tickets? Who you got coming, my friend? Huh? You dating the mayor's wife? The mayor's daughter? Okay. Um, what happened, man? The people brought more folks than they supposed to have brought or what? Okay. Well, Chikwe, if you can uh, get JW and tell him that Mystic is a... Uh, Got a bill overdue. What color? Uh, gold. But uh, let JW know that Mystics, uh, uh, Mystics, guests are, are cleared if we got seats. Not here. Right? Not there. No. no. Okay. Thank you, man. I'm passing them up right now. What about the childhood? My childhood. Yeah, we want to know about the man. Dysfunctional. You want to see me? I went to school half dressed. Angry and never had angry management. No, really. Had a fun childhood. Okay, you ready? Childhood was great. And so tell me about yourself. I mean, what made you want to get into this business? I mean, they say there's no business like show business, and I'm sure there's no business like the circus business. And, and so just tell me about that. I didn't want to get into this business. You did not want I didn't have a clue, man. I didn't like elephant smells. I didn't like circus because whenever I went to one, it was corny. Okay. So no, no, no. no, 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 no. It's just that one day my partner, who's a co-founder and president, we were discussing what's next for us. You know, we did concerts, we did plays, and uh, you know, the producer got kind of angry at him about something, and he was just saying, "Hey, we got to do our thing, man." You know, so the divine one came in the picture and said, "Hey." Okay. Here's the deal. So I'm going to ask you about that because you, you seem like you acknowledge God, especially lately in these last couple of shows that sure. I've seen. And so growing up, I mean, was that a big part of your Big life? time. My grandmother and mother both uh, kind of nurtured me around spirituality Okay. and having faith. I never met my father. So they always told me I had a father who was there you know, all the time. And I started believing in that. And when things started opening up without me having to make any kind of effort to, to do it, I knew there was somebody 
somewhere doing something for me, so I've just trusted and have faith in that. Y'all should be proud people. I said, Cleveland, Ohio! Okay, so you talked about your mother, your grandmother, any brothers or sisters? No, bro, I got a sister, man. Wow, don't mention my sister. She runs things. She likes to do, um, she's very hyper. She's more hyper than I am. Okay, Good thing she, she a, don't have a microphone. Is she a part of this? A part of this no, she's not, actually, but, uh, her kids, which is my nephew and nieces, they, every summer they, they spend on the road with me at the circus, so... They, they go to school with, with good intentions so they can hang out in the summer with their uncle okay. on the road. Now, what was high school like? Were you popular? Great, school? very popular. I was a leader, always a leader, born a leader. I was student government president. I played three sports. Name so, them. football, baseball, and wrestling. Okay. I still got wrestling injuries. Can't you see my neck at <laughs> See, see, that's from that wrestling. Okay. And uh, basketball, I um, tried out for basketball. Didn't make basketball because in New York you got to be a very skillful ball player in, in, in the hood. So being I was not on the team, they made me the team manager. So I had to orchestrate all the rehearsals and the time books and and argue things with the ref and make sure locker rooms was right. And it was a good fun job. Okay, so is that how you kind of got into the entertainment aspect? I mean that 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 background. That, that kind of background, you know, catapulted me into doing a lot of things in the entertainment business. Okay. And the one thing I really like about it, through the faith of the divine one, is that everything's been first. You know, when I was in high school, I was part of the first graduating class, which makes me the first student government president. Uh, I started a radio station while I was at, at high school. In the mornings, waking people up with hip stuff and records. And, some of us for lunch. Now this is in New York. All this is in New York. Okay. Yeah, city of diversity. Yeah, so it was a good training ground for the circus of diversity. Okay. So uh, everything has its, 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 its seeds to be planted. I think the seeds are planted kind of well. Let me see. Okay, now look, I'm here on the back lot of the Universal Circus talking to none other than the star of the show, Zeke. How you doing, Zeke? No, we got a lot of stars up there. When you look at the star, when you look at the sky, don't you see a lot of stars? Yeah. Every, everybody on there is a star. Okay, okay. None of us, us outshine none of the other ones. All right, so you're just being a little bit modest here. But look, tell me about this. Uh, what you're riding here? Oh, this is a mini chopper. Got the thing custom built. No, just a joke. I didn't cuss it. We was in the city of Philadelphia about a couple of weeks ago, and this was my dream was to have a chopper uh, motorcycle. This is the closest I could get to it. This is a mini chopper motorcycle. Okay, sounds good. Now, um, I hear you, you're riding around on this thing a lot. You know, everywhere you go, it, it, is it very helpful? Yes, it's very helpful. It's beast, it's beast walking. <laughs> and uh, the price is uh, for the gasoline, 25, 30 cents to fill it up. Whoa, now that is great compared to we're almost at $2 a gallon. Right, almost at $2 a gallon. Well, for $2, I can ride all week. Okay, now I believe I'm correct. This is the 11th year of the circus. How long have you been with the circus? Myself and the ringmaster, we was there from show number one. So this is our second decade going into, uh, like you said, year number 11. Now, how long do you think you're going to be doing this? Well, to the Lord find something else to do. We didn't know we was going to be doing this. And the Lord blessed uh, Carol with a vision. And uh, Ricky Walker, our uh, CEO, with the finances. And lo and behold, here we are 11 years later. Hey, sounds good. Now, look, before I let you go, is there anything special that you want to tell the people out there? Well, now I live here. This is my home here in Cleveland.